Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is about dual priority encoder. So before going into the topic, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. And if you have any doubts, comment down below. I will respond within 24 hours. So now let's go into the dual priority encoder. So what's a dual priority encoder? A normal priority encoder encodes a n bit value into log base 2 of n. So as you can see over here, this is a truth table of a normal priority encoder which has a MSB bit priority. I'm talking about MSB bit priority, not LSB bit, okay? So as you can see, when D0 is high, then we are gonna get encoded value as 0, 0, 0. And when 1 and 0 are high or don't care value, then we are gonna get 0, 0, 1. Similarly, we are gonna have the MSB bit priority. So here, 1 is a priority, here 2 is the priority and 1 is the priority if this all values are 0 in front of it. So as you can see, the 7 has the highest priority. If 7 is high, whatever the values of the D6, D5 or D0 might be, the value will be encoded into 1, 1 and 1. So that's a normal priority encoder. So a normal priority encoder encodes the value based upon the highest bit. So highest MSB priority bit. So here we have 7. That means the 7 is having the highest priority. So if you want to find out the second highest priority value, that can be done by using a dual priority encoder. A dual priority encoder not only identifies the highest priority, but also finds the second highest priority. So now let us look at the working of a dual priority encoder by taking an example. So as you can see over here, I'm taking an 8-bit value and this priority encoders are MSB bit. If you can, if you want to solve it, you can solve it using LSB bit and find out the different results. So now here we are taking MSB bit priority and 8 bit value is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 and 0. So now we are gonna encode it based upon the priority and which is MSB bit priority. Since D7 is having the highest priority, so we are gonna get the value as 1, 1 and 1. So we got the value 1, 1 and 1. So this one will be passed on to a decoder. Mm. Okay, now we got 1, 1, 1. So we know the which bit has the highest priority now. D7 was not there. Then next highest priority, next bit which is high will get the encoded value. That is 1, 0, 1 in this case. Okay, now we got this highest priority value we need to shut that bit down and pass it to an encoder. That means we need to make this value zero. So we are gonna make it this value to zero by using a decoder and XOR gates. So when we pass this triple one, that is one, one and one to a three to eight decoder, what value will we get? So three to eight decoder through table is as shown. When we pass one, one and one, then we will get zeros and Y7 has high. So when we get 101, we will get all zero except for Wi-Fi. So it is a binary decoder. I hope you know about binary decoders. So we got the value Y7 as high and the rest of the bits as zero. So as you can see, we got one. We need to shed this value to zero. So what are you gonna use? So we are gonna use an XOR gates. Based upon this XOR gates, when the same value is there, one and one, then we will get the value zero. So we are gonna XOR with zeros, then we will get the previous values, that means whatever the values are there with D0, D1, and D2 till D7, we are gonna get the same values, but for D7, we are gonna XOR it one, so that we will get the complement value that will be the zero, so it will be neglected in this priority encoder. Okay, that's what we are gonna do. That means we are shutting down the highest value, okay? Shutting down the highest value is our goal. First, we got the highest priority. That's okay, that's D7. We want the second highest priority, that's D5. So to get the second highest priority, we must make this value as zero. To make this value as zero, we are gonna use three to eight decoder with some XOR gates. XOR gates, whenever it has the same value, it will make it is zero. As you can see, D7, and Y7 are one, and the remaining values are zero, 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 so it will pass the same value. D0 is passed, D1 is passed, D2 is passed, D3 is passed, D4, D5, and D6. So these are the inputs which are similar to here, okay? 
So now let's look what's the output from XOR gates. As you can see one over here and one over here, it is zero and zero over here and one, zero, one, zero, one and zero. So we got the values I7 is zero over here. See, we got the same value, but the last bit is made zero based on this decoder and XOR gates. I hope you are getting it. We are using the same input as here, but making the highest priority input as zero. So when the highest priority bit is made zero, it will, this priority encoder will obviously choose the second highest priority, but here it's the highest priority. So the value will be one, zero, one. There you go. We got the highest priority value from here and the second highest priority from this priority encoder. And if you want to find the third highest priority, use the same decoder again here and you can continue and you can find n number of priorities. So main purpose of this video was to make you a good designer so that you can solve any designs and create your own circuit. So this is one part of it, a dual priority encoder. I hope you like this video. Make sure you hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And if you have any comments, make comment down below. And if you have any recommendations of videos, that means uh, if you have any uh, topics which needed to be covered in the videos and if I know the topic, I can make it. So make sure you comment down below and thanks for watching.